Okay, so welcome back to more Lost Reactions. We're on Season 1, Episode 22. We're getting very near the end of the season now. Uh, I say this for every show, but I'm very curious to see how they handle finales. And I say that for every show because you have some that have very underwhelming finales and you have some that just go all out. At the end of the season, you know to expect some really good shit. So I'm just curious where Lost falls in that in that category. I'm guessing more on the, the end of... They just do some batshit crazy stuff because they do it in every episode anyway. So, but yeah, I'm very eager to get into this one. And as per usual, just looking forward to seeing who we get um, more information on in terms of like backstory and the flashback parts of the episode. That's going to be cool to see. So without further ado, let's stop talking here and get right into the episode. So this is Lost Season 1, Episode 22. Let's jump right into it. Is that Kate? That's a criminal right there. Someone who carries all the number plates so they can switch them up. I feel like I wasn't meant to know that was Kate until this part, but I could see her face. You could see her face in the car. At first I thought it was, uh, it was Claire, but... That's what she got from that lockbox, right? Did that say 815 on the bottom of that, on the wing? Albums must have spiked when everybody found out that I died in some catastrophic plane disaster. When I come back, alive. That would be a pretty solid story. Do you think the raft's gonna work? Yeah, of course it'll work. Look at that thing. It's not a raft. How is that gonna fail? I don't understand. The helicopters will come, making us ridiculously and eternally famous. What's the matter? Uh, she's on the run. Why are we listening to Aris? Because I'm a doctor. And you are a hillbilly. Wait, you're a doctor? What? It's been raining every afternoon. That means that we are on the cusp of monsoon season. Locke did say that. There's a storm coming. Can anyone tell me what is the only piece of land that's south of us? Antarctica. That's right, Jack. Yeah. Should probably wait then. So that's what's going to hold this up. You think you'll be ready by tomorrow? Man said not a day to waste. Why the sudden interest? Because I'm going with you. They're actually going to try it. This is what I've been waiting for. This is one of, those, one of those things where I've been like very eager to see where this goes. I can't predict like what's going to happen when they set off. Yeah, cover your face with them flowers. It's very tragic what happened to them too. You want to tell me where we're going, Saeed? It's better that you see it for yourself. No. Wow, this is actually happening. Two of the things I've been waiting to see the most apparently happening in this episode. The raft and the bunker. I don't know why you wanted that Halliburton case so bad. Belonging to the U.S. Marshal who's flying with us? You were his prisoner. Careful, Sawyer. She is dangerous, mate. Hey, Sawyer. I want your spot. I'll get your spot. Yo, okay then. This is where we start to see the real side of Kate. What she's truly capable of. That's why. You... Jack! 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 Yeah, just run, get Jack. Someone done something to him? Kate, maybe? Take him back to Michael. I'll go get Jack. You got no chance of finding him. Three weeks, give or take. You've been out here for three weeks digging this thing up and you never told me about it. How long did you have that case full of guns before you decided the rest of us needed to know? And Saeed can relate to that because he wasn't going to tell the group about the antenna, the radio thing, transmission. You want to open it? I brought you here to talk him out of this insanity. There's no handle. Could the reason for that be more obvious? Something dangerous in there. That'll work out great. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Adam. His name's Connor. 22 months next week. Is this like her love interest or some shit that we learned about? Heat stroke? Bad fruit, maybe? Raw fish? Michael and Jen are on the same diet. Sabotage? Oh, I don't think it was the water. I think it was something in the water. There we go. That's the guessing game of who? Drink from that one. Somebody did this to me? I don't know. Not sure of anything yet. Sawyer. I, kn I knew he was gonna blame Sawyer. That's why I don't think it's Sawyer. Sawyer might have done it. Oh, because of Kate? Kate. Yeah, I guess she wants on the raft. Why would Kate poison Michael? The whole fugitive thing. Oh, yeah, Locke don't know about that. Oh, shit. Well done, Hurley. <laughs> oh, man. Well, how am I supposed to keep straight who knows what around here? Yeah, look, see? Secrets everywhere. Why don't you ask her? And you didn't think the others should know about this, Jimmy? Yeah, people should definitely know about this. I've been saying this from day one. Is somebody going to be taking his place on the raft? Because, you know, Dr. Arndt said if they don't did leave tomorrow... Did you poison tomorrow... Michael, Kate? I'm starting to think it isn't Kate now, you know? Who the hell could it be? Someone did this. Do you really think I'm capable of that? 
Yes. 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 Most definitely. Yes. I don't know what you're capable of. I can't think of who else it could be. <laughs> what is this? Money, maybe? Or something more sentimental? Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. My plane. Right, so that is the case then. I can't believe I let you talk me into putting this in there. That was your idea. Because it's cool, Katie. I got it when I flew to Dallas by myself. Ooh, that is cool. Just like this time capsule. It'll be totally cool when we dig it up in like 20 years. We'll be married and you'll be a mom and we'll have nine kids. <laughs> I don't think so. Nine kids, bro. I'm actually so weird listening to that. Funny how things turn out, huh? Yeah. She said she had to kill him in, in one of the early episodes. Why did she have to kill him? He is a kid of his own though now with someone else. So this ain't gonna work. And it's not gonna work because my man's apparently dead, so. Yeah, we better get to the hospital. Yeah. She loves her doctors, don't she? Forward to current day and it's got Jack in her sights, seems anyway. What happened? A little accident. Does it hurt? Yep. That's a good thing for him, really, isn't it? Because it means he can feel it. I didn't do it. I heard Jack. He thinks somebody got my dad sick. Right, okay, so it's not him. You think because I know you burned the first raft that I'd think you made your dad sick? Lock, maybe? Because he knows Walt don't want to go. What's the matter? Don't open it. Don't open that thing. How does he know about that? I mean, when he touched him, it's like there's some, en some fucking energy or some shit there. Like, what the hell, man? They're both connected in some weird-ass way. You're off the raft. Come again? You've been stealing stuff off of dead bodies, keeping it for yourself, using it to buy favors. You're a liar and a criminal. Mate, she's a liar and a criminal. Because I'm a criminal. Yo, Jin and him carried to development right here. Now he's backing him up. I had no idea how bad you wanted off this rock. He's going to tell everyone, eh? Tell him who the criminal is. Oi, leave her alone, man. Tell him. Here we go. Sawyer, please. <laughs> you all remember Joanna, don't you? Huh? Wow. So that's what she was taking. So she could get herself rescued, run off with a new identity before half the reporters in the world descend on this damn island? She might even poison the captain himself. Shut up! Hard to argue against that, to be honest. Everyone knows now. I'm so sorry that I have put you through. I mean, this, sort of, this is sort of proving that she does care about our people other than herself, isn't it? So, like, literally the scene after. What? Help. Help. I don't know where this is going to go. Help me. Help me. Okay, okay. For a moment, I thought she was going to do something to her mum then. Get out. I am not letting you do this. Katie, if you cooperate, then go easy. Backup. I've got to go. Get you out. Have a real life. Tom, come on, please. No. <laughs> what if the bullet hits him? <laughs> yeah, he's been hit. That's what she meant by she killed him. Oh, man. Yes, I was wanted and caught, but I didn't poison you. Here. There you go. So, hey, you got your, you got your ticket. Who poisoned him, man? Very curious. Looks determined. Yes, he is. You don't want him to go, do you? Why would she want him to go? Is that why you tried to make him sick? Oh, Lord. Right, okay. How are you meant to predict that shit? You're not meant to. That's the whole point. Makes perfect sense, though. Son. He's going. If I were you, I'd... Say your goodbyes. Jack loves his secrets, doesn't he, though? Jesus Christ. He has the nerve to have a go at Locke when this guy keeps most secrets out of anyone. Like, it's only in this episode, really, where I've realised how many secrets he has kept or has tried to keep. So he has, he's, he has no right to have a go at Locke. Hey. Don't worry. Gonna be on my feet soon. Even. I'm the one that burnt the raft. <laughs> oh Lord. I didn't want to leave, and I thought I could stop. Hey, it's okay, man. You're not gonna ask him why he didn't want to leave, though. 
We can stay here. You and me. What? We don't have to go. Wait, what? Yes, we do. Trust Walt. He knows what he's talking about. If he says you need to go, you need to go. Interesting. Michael was quick to make that decision, though. I believe that once I found the man I loved, I would be happy forever. Me too. Oh, there's a lot to unpack in that. Man, the, just the, the thing that I'm most interested in is, is what Walt said. Like, we know he's special, but even Saeed was like, don't open that hatch. I'm very curious. So that was my reaction to Lost Season 1, Episode 22. Another really good episode. Uh, I really enjoyed everything in that. Just the, the whole speculation of who poisoned Michael was interesting. Like, I knew, I knew it was going to be a character we just didn't expect, but I couldn't... I couldn't tell who. They do a very good job of just misleading the viewer constantly. Like, even after they had, like we had gone through two suspects which would be, which would be kate and um sawyer i was thinking who else could it be i guess i was half right like it was uh it was kate it was kate's idea but it was just son who was the one who done it so I'll, I'll take that i guess but yeah just quickly going back to, to the to the walt thing um that i was speaking about in the outro like but what we can assume at the minute is walt and Locke are special and different to every other character in this show at the minute like presumably just the connection they seem to have with this island and just everything about them the connection they seem to have with each other as well is just different and it, it's something that goes like that is rooted deep in this island i think somehow in some way you think Locke has all the answers like lock I, I described in the last episode as like he's it's like a, a, a just a scrambled puzzle piece in his head it's like he knows some things but he doesn't know how to piece it all together it's like there's just it's scrambled so you think he knows everything right and he's trying to get this bunker open and stuff because you know the island's giving him signals uh, and signs to open this bunker and stuff so he thinks that's what he needs to do but then you have Walt, who has just said, don't open that. That's presumably, the way I see that is like the island telling Walt and giving Walt signals to not open that. So it's like you're getting mixed signals. They both presumably have this deep-rooted connection with the with the island. So why are they both being told two different things? That's what is very interesting here. Jack has the uh, is having to go out lock for keeping these secrets and all that, when my guy's keeping more secrets than probably anyone on the island. He's kept another secret in this episode. Admittedly, it's not a big secret, and, you know, I agree, no one needs to know, but... It's still a secret nonetheless, you know what I mean? I think Jack's a bit of a hypocrite in terms of that, you know, keeping the most secrets out of anyone. He's trying to have a go at Locke for doing that. And I personally think he kept one of the biggest secrets. I, I, I think I said way back when he was like, we don't need to know what Kate did or whatever. I was like, we most certainly do need to know what Kate's done because anything could be the case. Like, she could be, I don't know, a danger to children. You have a child on the island, you know what I mean? You do need to know that stuff. You most certainly need to know. It is definitely your responsibility to find that shit out. So, like, even back then, I didn't agree with him keeping that secret. Uh, I thought that was stupid from Jack way back then, but everyone knows now, so I suppose that's dealt with. But I, that's not going to be the end of, like, Kate's... Uh, the revelations with Kate. I guarantee you she's done other, other shit that we'll probably find out in more episodes dedicated to her, to her backstory. But we learned about the guy she loved in this episode. That was really cool. When she said she killed him, you, you immediately imagine, like, she shot him or, like, she killed him on purpose. Um... But she didn't, like, she told him to get out of the car because she was going to go on the run, but he refused to. He died in a crash. I find it very interesting how the guy she's taking a liking to on the island, which is Jack, is a doctor. And this guy that she was in love with is a doctor. I guess it explains why she, like, why she's drawn to Jack. It prob he probably reminds uh, reminds her of him. And she's kept the the plane. We can really see how much sentimental value that, that uh, little plane has. Like, the little uh, audio thing that they were listening to as well in the car. That was kind of cool. It's kind of tragic seeing how this all played out and... Like, they were just such innocent kids back then, and so much has happened since that moment. And they, they said they were going to be, like, married with, like, nine kids and all that. It's very tragic when you think about how this... How that whole situation ended. But, yeah, overall, a really enjoyable episode. There was, uh, yet again, a lot going on. Next episode, I'm really looking forward to, because I'm assuming we are going to see the raft take off. And I just can't imagine how that's going to go. Next episode as well, I believe, is the start of three-part finale. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next three episodes. But that was my reaction to Lost Season 1, Episode 22. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, cheers for watching.